Our workshop series was a small series that was designed for all the content area teachers um, in junior and senior high school. The goal was to look at what literacy really means in the content areas and what are some of the best and research-based practices in the area of content area literacy. Students learn to read in grades one to three, um, but beyond that, they are reading to learn. Um, and working in a high school, the difficulty I find is looking at students and understanding where is their reading level. And one of the uh, ERLC sessions was on assessment, uh, finding out where students are leveled reading, leveling their reading. Um, the trick being, of course, um, is finding where students are in order to get them to where they want to be. One of my teachers was working with a whole class novel and was concerned about some of his students that don't, were not working at grade level and were seemed to be falling further and further behind. And we worked with uh, assessing those students first and then once we've assessed the students, then moving to providing materials at the appropriate level for those students. And he was amazed at the difference in the engagement of his students. So that was, um, need to see in a junior high class that the students are now engaged in reading. Differentiating our instruction is vital for students to be engaged and that's something that we need to use in all, not only language arts, but in all, all subjects. From there we went, we got together again to talk about the thinking processes. Part of the, uh, uh, the session was looking at how do we present that to the students. Um, looking at read alouds, think alouds, uh, really what it is is modeling how we as uh, trained readers, um, and a lot of times we take for granted uh, how good of readers we are as teachers, that we uh, neglect to realize that, well, if they learned to read since grade three, they must be just as good as we are. Uh, but taking a step back and realizing that um, students need to understand what they are maybe subconsciously doing while they're reading, and with a think aloud or a read aloud as a teacher, you're modeling that behavior, you're modeling that, uh, that expertise in reading. It's really important that uh, literacy isn't just taught in language arts, it's in all content areas and all teachers are literacy teachers. If they've, instead of learning something in French language arts class or English language arts class, they're able to take that and transfer it to their science textbook, their math textbook, math problems, diploma exams when we get to grade 12, so I think that it really helps students reading. When we break down these thinking processes, and they practice inferring, and they practice predicting, and they practice analyzing, and, and they're active about it. That lends itself to the critical thinking. The more I infuse um, new ideas into my classroom, the more I have a tendency to talk with the teachers around me, and I hear how they've interpreted things that I've shared, or things that they've brought in, um, only serves to, uh, to broaden my, my use of some of the, the elements that I've come up with.